In this example, we will factor polynomials that have binomials as a common factor. In part a, we'll factor 3x times x minus 1 plus 4 times x minus 1. The greatest common factor for the two terms is x minus 1. Pull out the binomial x minus 1 from each term. Now collect what's remaining in the brackets. This gives our answer x minus 1 times 3x plus 4. In part b, we'll factor 4x times 2x plus 3 minus 2x plus 3. The greatest common factor for the two terms is 2x plus 3. Pull the binomial 2x plus 3 from each term. We can't leave an empty space after the minus, so put in a 1 as a placeholder. Collect what's remaining to get the answer, 2x plus 3 times 4x minus 1. In part c, we'll factor 5ax minus 15a minus 3x plus 9. Factor the first two terms. Pull out 5a from each term, which gives us 5a times x minus 3. Now factor the last two terms. The greatest common factor for 3x and 9 is 3. The leading coefficient is negative, so it must be factored out. Pull out minus 3 from each term to get minus 3 times x minus 3. The greatest common factor for our two terms is the binomial x minus 3. Pull out x minus 3 from each term. Collect what's remaining to get the answer, x minus 3 times 5a minus 3. In part d, we'll factor 4x to the 4 plus 4x squared minus 3x squared minus 3. Factor the first two terms. Pull out 4x squared from each term, giving us 4x squared times x squared plus 1. Factor the last two terms. The leading coefficient is negative, so this must be factored out. Pull out minus 3 from each term, leaving minus 3 times x squared plus 1. The greatest common factor for our two terms is x squared plus 1. Pull out the binomial x squared plus 1 from each term. Collect what's remaining. The answer is x squared plus 1 times 4x squared minus 3.